Right. It's been a long time. Just um, here we are back at the garage, and my Audi is needs a few bits and pieces. Got a few up upgrades. Got a few extra bits going on. Um, it's had. I, I wish I did the uh, the video to show the oil pump um, I've fitted. I've deleted the oil pump and balance shaft and. Uh, I fitted the 06A off the 1.8T. Unfortunately, this pump's only lasted a couple of years. Um, I noticed a drop in oil pressure on my oil pressure gauge, and uh, when I stripped this down and took it apart, I had some uh, score marks in the uh, on the impeller drive on the gear inside. Can't see it in here, but once stripped down, you can see it. Uh, I didn't do a video. But I did remove the sump again, cleaned all the sump out properly. Um, removed the gear from inside the oil pump and used this magnificent stuff here. Pre-assembly lube, assembly lube. But onto this. So, well, this engine will be replaced by a fully forged, and I mean a fully forged motor overkill for application that I need but at the moment I've just made a new oil bypass for the oil bypass so this is for the oil pressure switch so I've got it going down in here coming out instead of whether replacing relocating the original oil pressure switch with and four fittings coming up to a little junction box this is daft 42's little oil pressure junction box so I've got a defi gauge off of here I've had this gauge for quite a few years now but I thought I'd just tidy it up bling it up a little bit uh, and copy my catch can style and fittings these are not eBay or China specials these are pretty decent these are um, talks UK is it fittings so they're not you know they cost a couple of quid but anyway, I'm just sizing this up and just making sure I've got it in the location that I want. I've got some heat insulation sleeving. And this is for the wiring, so this will be going over down to the engine. I thought it would look quite smart in the engine bay. I'm just waiting, so I've got a bit of a water leak in here luckily nothing has been damaged I have got Bartex I've had this installed for about two years I have got Bartex I have deleted the uh, follower because I had nothing but problems I had two major I had two major engine top end failures because of that so I had no choice but to go over to the roller conversion off the new EA triple eight engines. Now I've got a Bartek new Bartek pump with this internals in it. Bartek also it saves you the hassle. They do a little they do drill out. The inlet for the fuel inlet, so that is the low pressured side inlet. They do drill out that hole is normally 1.72 mil, and they've drilled it out to four and a half mil, I believe, or four mil. <clears throat> yeah, a few little goodies on this motor. I've had this car for a long time. You know, I've got I've had custom carbon fiber outside grille with the mesh, no gap. You know, real carbon fiber splitter. You know, I've got custom rear arches. You know. These are for another video, I'm just doing a little quick update on what's coming and extra content. Putting a Biotech um, chain and tensioner on there as well, I thought while I'm here I'll do it. I've got Biotech oil filter, billet oil filter housing coming so I can relocate the oil temperature before I had it in the sump. And I was always a bit, ooh, if and miss, it was a bit dodgy. So I'm just waiting for that to arrive. Um... 
What else? This is just brief stuff. I'm debating to get rid of this Forge twin intercooler. I've had it for since I've had the car. I've had it for about seven years, just over seven and a half years, and it's done me very well. It's a good. It's good. You know, never had any issues with it. I clean the filters every year, but I think before I put the sidewinder on and the big, big turbo and the new engine, I think I might treat myself and have a custom. 80 mil from the turbo and have a four inch air filter in there so it'll go from 80 mil straight from the turbo and then it'll go up to a slightly larger from 80 mil to 102 mil and put a nice bmc very decent bmc uh, air filter in there which was what i will use when i go big turbo but yeah this is uh this is where the fun shall start from here. I did do a couple of videos last year, but I have been very busy. Oh yes, Kakaraka Performance billet, alum, billet aluminium. I've got lots of words in Billet co engine cover. Purchased this online. This recently just came. Got it a bit cheaper than what Kakarakas are offering. I got it on eBay. It did say it was Octobolt, but when I got it, it had their. Uh, I was quite impressed and quite shocked that it came with the Kakarakas. I, I had a guess that it was from Greece, Athens. But there you go. Got it for a steal. But this is for the race engine. This is not going on the current engine. I just wanted to test fit it to make sure that there was no gaps, no leaks, or anything like that. Uh, and go from there but yeah work is in motion I will be I have got quite a few bits to do on this yet I've got new oil I've got um, I thought because I put new I've just when I changed the oil pump I uh, at the same time I thought do you know what let's have a look at the rod bearings unfortunately on these engines you cannot change the um, crank bearings sorry the the big end bearings Sorry, hang on, start again. I thought I would check the big end rod bearings. So I removed, had a check. Slight wear, no, no over, like nothing worn, but there is obvious wear. So I changed to King Race. Um, I've done, obviously I've done, I've done bearings in place before. It's a bit tricky, but it is doable. Um, something that I recommend doing but unfortunately on this particular engine it was very difficult to uh, if, if not it wasn't I was not able to change the main bearings I could not push the shells on the inside of the engine out unfortunately and also the thrust washers as well um, the updated style thrust washers on these cars they've got little um, it's almost like they've got little uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Basically, you can not You can push the old ones out, but you can't push the new ones in. It catches because they've made it so they've got little extensions on them. So it's it makes this, um, the thrust washers sit better in their seat. Um, very awkward to do. People probably have done it, but I wasn't risking it. And I didn't want to scratch the crank. Um, other than that, um, just waiting for the few odd bits here and there, and yeah, body work's not finished yet, but engine wise, there is, I've got a few bits and pieces to do, um, yeah, like and subscribe, crap channel will grow and I will have more content, thank you.